So first of all, you have to take this drying board. Some white sheets should be fixed on this drying board with the help of thumb pins. So your first task is, you have to check whether this drying board is horizontal to the ground or not. You can use this particular instrument which is called spirit label. You have to place this uh, instrument over here. As there are three different bubbles and uh, two markings are there in each and every case. If all the three bubbles are in between two markings, then it means that your uh, drying board is horizontal with respect to ground. Now you can check at this place also. As you can uh, see here, all the three bubbles are in between these two lines. So it means that uh, your drying board is horizontal to the ground. You can check this way also. As you can uh, check, all the bubbles are in between these two lines. So your uh, drying board is exactly horizontal with respect to ground. So your next task is, you have to take an uh, object which should be straight. It can be a metallic rod like this. This is the metallic rod. This is called nomon, And this is the base of the nomon. Your first task is, you have to fix the nomon in this base. Like this. Now after doing that, after fixing the nomon in the base, you have to fix the base on the drying with the help of thumb pins. Like this. So after fixing the nomon uh, at the drying board, your next task will be, you have to check whether your nomon is hori, uh, vertical with respect to ground or not. For that purpose, you can use this uh, very simple instrument. This is called, called plumb line. You must have seen this instrument with the plumbers. What we have done, we have taken a ball bearing net and we have tied this net with the help of that. So you have to suspend this uh, plumb line at the tip of the nomon. If your thread is exactly parallel to the nomon, it means that your uh, nomon is exactly vertical to the ground. So as you can see here, that your thread is exactly parallel to the nomon. It means that your nomon is exactly vertical with respect to ground. So now the setup is ready for the activity. Now your next task will be, as you know that the sun apparently moves from east to west in the sky, so at particular time during day, it crosses an imaginary arc which is called meridian. It starts from north and ends at south. So when the sun will be at the meridian, the shadow of any of the object will be shortest and it will point towards north. So we will use the shortest shadow method to find different directions during daytime. So what you have to do, you have to mark the tip of the shadow at uh, different intervals of time, but the difference of the time will be shape, uh, same. Mean to say that intervals should be same. Let's uh, start uh, the activity. Now it is 12 o'clock in my watch and I am just marking the tip of the shadow here. Now after each 10 minutes, we will mark the tip of the shadow. Make it slightly darker. What a mark it. Like this you have to mark. Now after exactly 10 minutes, you have to mark the shadow once again. Now it is 12.10 in my watch. Now we have to mark the shadow, tip of the shadow again. So as you can see, the shadow is these 10 minutes. Now oh, we will dark. mark the next shadow at 12.20. As you can see here, now we have two markings of the shadow. The next shadow will be marked at 12.20. So now after second interval of time, it is 12.20 in my watch. Now we have to mark the tip of the shadow once again. So here is the tip of the shadow. We have to mark the shadow. Now we have three uh, different markings of the shadow. Now at 12.30 we will uh, mark the tip of the shadow again. Okay, now uh, it's 12.30 in my watch. Now after third interval of time, uh, I'm just 
going to mark the tip of the shadow once again. Here is the marking. Let's keep it dark. Uh, as you can see here, we have four different uh, markings. Now the next marking we will take at 1240. So now after the fourth interval of time, it is 1240 in my watch. Now I am going to mark the tip of the shadow once again. Here is the tip. Five readings, five uh, markings we have uh, got. Now what you have to do now, don't uh, displace the drawing board from its original position. Slowly you have to remove the no more first. Now after removing the no more, what you have to do? You have to mark the center of the no more with the help of a pencil. After marking the center of the nubon, slowly you have to remove the base of the nubon. Like this. First of all, remove all these thumbprints. Your drawing board should not be displaced from its position. Now here we have the center of the nubon. Now what we have to see now? Take a scale and join all these points we have got. This line is not a straight line, as you can see here, it is getting a little curvy. So what you have to do from the center of the moon, you have to find the point which is at the minimum distance from the center of the moon. So at this particular point, the line is getting a curve. So you have to join the center of the moon and this particular point and extend this line further. So, uh, what you have to do, just measure the distance of each point from the center of the nomon. As uh, I am going to measure the distances, this point is approximately 4 inches. Go in millimeters. Or in centimeters, you can uh, measure the distance. It is approximately at 10.2 centimeters. Now, the second point is, at a distance of 9.9 uh, .9 centimeters and this third particular point is 9.8 and fourth point is this is again 9.9 .9. so we have got the shortest uh, distance shortest possible distance right from the center of the nomo so this point is at the minimum distance so you have to join the center of the moon and this point with the help of the spade and extend this line further. So this line will give you the geographical north. This is geographical north. Now you can find out the different directions with the help of one particular direction. Now we have found the geographical north. Now if you will draw the perpendicular clockwise from north direction, if you will draw this uh, line at 90 degree angle, then you will find the east over here. So this direction will be east direction, exactly opposite to the north, there will be South. So this will be the geographical south and exactly opposite to the east, this particular direction will be your geographical west.
best in that way. So in this way, you can find out the geographical direction with the help of this snowball activity very precisely. Now we have uh, found the geographical directions and we have found that uh, minimum distance of that point from the center of the moon is uh, 9.8 centimeter. So this will be the line 9.8 centimeter uh, of that. This line is uh, 9.8 centimeter. So we have to draw a line at this particular point at 90 degree angle. So we will uh, mark the 90 degree angle first with the help of a uh, protector. And the length of that particular line should be equal to the length of this node. We have measured the length. It is 19.7 centimeters. So this line should be 19. Say this is point O and this is point A and this will be the point B. Now we have to join A and B with the help of a scale. Now as you can see uh, we have formed a right angled triangle over here. Right angle triangle O A B. Now in this particular triangle, angle B will represent the angle of the sun. So we will measure the angle B with the help of protector. It will give us the angle of the sun. So it is coming approximately 26 degrees. Oh sorry, 26 degrees. So now we have found the uh, angle of the sun, it comes to be 26 degree right now. Now this angle is 90 degrees, so this angle, which is angle A, this will represent the altitude of the sun. Now you can calculate this angle, this angle will be 90 minus 26, so it will come to be 64 degree. So altitude of the sun is 64 degree. Now this angle, angle B is representing the sun angle. So on the, at the time of uh, equinox, the, which is at the 22nd of September, this angle will be equal to latitude of the place. Uh, for example, for Delhi, it will be equal to approximately, uh, it will be equal to 28.5 degree. And uh, at the equinox, this angle will be equal to the latitude of your place. So uh, now why we have uh, drawn this uh, right angle to triangle and why this angle is sun angle? See, this uh, length of this line is equal to the length of the nomon. So your nomon was placed uh, like this. So this was your nomon. And as you know that at uh, noon, your shadow was shortest. So this was the point you have marked on the tip of the shadow. So sun was making the angle this particular angle which comes to be 26 degree when the sh shadow was shortest. Now you can see the shadow has moved a uh, bit because the sun has uh, moved in the sky. So you can uh, see here now the angle of the sun uh, has got uh, a little bit larger than the previous one. So this is the method that we can uh, find out the angle of the sun as well as the altitude of the sun. So this was the method we have found the geographical directions as, as well as we have found the sun angle also and uh, we have found the altitude of the sun. So thank you very much. Uh, my name is Shiv Kumar and I am faculty with space.